Good morning, everybody. 19 degrees and Tara McCool's here. How are you doing, Tara? Good morning. I'm doing really well. Thank you. It's going to be a beautiful day today. And we have video of Tara McCool last night. I don't know if you can see her. She was riding her bike. It's quite an impressive piece of tape here. If you just take a look at this, Tara McCool riding a BMX. Is that what you're riding on this oh, one? Oh, of course. I think you're the one Out in the white shirt Out for my Sunday there. stroll. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the white shirt. Look at this. Okay, there's a huge event happening. No, I'm clearly not in this. Uh, there's a huge event happening. The Alberta BMX Provincial Series happening. So all the uh, Calgary riders and Alberta riders are all competing to get into the championship. Nice. And so we're going to be meeting the number two ranked BMXer in Canada and number one in Alberta. Wow. And it's not a he. No. She's a she. She's a she. She's a she and looks very feminine and beautiful, but get her on that bike. And away she and, goes. Yeah. So we're going to chat great. with her and uh, Nate as well. He's a little younger. There you go. We're great people coming up. And also, Joss. Coming up to 8.06 now and 9 degrees. We're going to head over to Tara, who's maybe picking up a new sport this morning. Thank you very much, Suzanne Fox. Yes, we have got the Weekend Calgary BMX, uh, the Alberta BMX Provincial Series, which is happening this weekend. So all the top riders from all around Alberta are, are competing, and then those riders, all the winners, are going to be going to the Alberta Championship. So this is pretty huge for all the BMX riders in the city. And we have got Mitch McLeod along with Kira McLeod, and we've got Nate Baird in with us this morning as well. And Kira and Nate are both BMX riders, and Kira is ranked number two in Canada, number one in Alberta, which is huge. Congratulations for that. Pretty awesome. And Mitch, why don't you tell us about the BMX riding? So what's happening this weekend? Like, how do you actually compete on the BMX uh, track? Is it racing? Is it hills? What is it that we're looking at? Well, it's a closed circuit track. Um, you'll run a series of qualifiers. It's one lap, and in that one lap, and I think you showed on the clip earlier, it's a series of high bank turns, jumps, uh, ro rolling type of obstacles. Uh, we do it on a uh, hard type of clay, and it's what I would uh, be similar to what would be like a uh, 400 meter sprint uh, if you're thinking of a running race and so you're out and these riders are going they come out of the starting gate and probably a race is typically around 40 seconds so it's all out for 40 seconds and they're putting everything out there as bar Ooh. to bar eight riders on the track e. there's contact um, there's it, contact oh there's contact what do you mean like pushing and shoving on the rate on the track that's part of the game Come on. Yeah, you you want contact. Kira actually wears <laughs> elbow pads so that she can elbow those competitors out of the, out of the way. Oh, you're kidding. So then for four, it takes about 40 seconds to get around the track, and you go around the track once? Just once, and there will be a series of races throughout the day, and it's broken up by age and uh, skill level. It has to get higher up. It's, it's just by age, and so boys race boys, girls race girls, and right. then uh, someone like Kara, she'd race either 14-year-old girls, and Nate would wear it would race uh, six-year-old boys and um, it's I mean at a young age and uh, we really found that we recently came back from the World Cup that um, you better not be shy when you get in there you better go elbows out and get aggressive and be ready to be a little bit okay, nasty in the I corner. I would never have thought that so Kira when you first started racing and doing the BMX stuff did you know it was so aggressive? Well when I first started I didn't really know what to expect but you kind of like learn what's going on and yeah and you just see and you you're so like calm and kind of shy and quiet here but then when you get out on the track what do you like uh i try to be aggressive on the track <laughs> yeah so these are the the girls the 14 year old girls so this is the kind of stuff you'd be doing here yeah and so tell me about the challenges what's the hardest part of the track um probably corners because there's a whole bunch of you going in at once and Whoever comes out first sometimes is the winner of the race. So, so why did you choose BMX riding? What did you like about it? I like the adrenaline and the competition and just challenging myself. And it's Ooh. always fun. Is that you there? Which one is you? I'm on the left. On the in the black helmet. Yeah. And so, what are you doing there? Are you are you doing tricks or is this uh, you crossing the finish line? <laughs> that's manualing over a double in Vermont. That's what? Manualing. Now what is that? Uh, 
but it's a technique you can use to go over obstacles and it just kind of gives you like a speed burst. Oh, okay. And so this wouldn't be like one of your speed around the speed tracks. This is a different type of competition? <laughs> no, it's the same thing. You would do that yeah. uh, on the speed track? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. You have to be pretty tough, hey? You get tough over time. You get tough. Now, what do the guys at school think about you riding BMX? Well, a lot of them are pretty surprised, but... I bet they think it's pretty darn cool. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. So, Nate, how many years have you been riding your, your, the BMS bike? Three. Three years you've been riding since you were three? What do you think is so cool about it? Why do you do it? I wanted to learn how to do tricks. And so, what kind of tricks can you do? Um, turn my front wheel. You can turn your front wheel? Wow, that's pretty cool. And so, do you think that you want to go to the Olympics one day? Uh, to ride in BMX in the Olympics? Nate was at the World Cup um, here in July, and he raced uh, against some of the best riders uh, from the world already. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So yeah. that experience, that experience, ha like racing against the best people in the world, what is that like for you, Kira? Well, it's really exciting meeting all those different people and mm -hmm. just seeing the different ways that they race and how they act before races. And it was pretty cool. Do you have any? Do you have any kind of rituals that you have right before a big race? Well, I warm up before it, and that's about it. I that's about keep it. hydrated. And yeah. Do you have a special meal you have to eat before you race? Anything like that? Uh, usually just fruit and Gatorade water. Gatorade. You got to keep the carbs in there, yeah. right? Okay. So now, when are when are the um, the the BMX going to be in the Olympics? When do they start? Uh, next year, uh, Beijing. Is, uh, is the first year that where it's an official sport, and that it was was a demonstration sport, and it's now an official sport. And the real cool thing about this, there's a qualifying process that goes on. There's actually a girl from the Calgary area, Sammy Cools, and she's qualified for the Olympics. And she's the only one in Canada that is actually qualified. So we will have a Canadian. And she's a, a favorite to win a medal, too, at the Olympics. So this wow. is really exciting for someone like Kira and, like, you know, to have someone that is yeah. a local Olympian and, you know, potentially a medalist, too. You want to be up there on the podium at the Olympics for BMX riding? I think that one day I'd like to. Wow, that's quite something to aspire to, eh? Hey? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nate, for coming on this morning. And Mitch, thank you. All right, thank okay, you. Okay, so there's a website that you can go on to, calgarybmx.com, if you want to find out about this weekend, Alberta BMX Provincial Series. And where is it happening? It's out at the BMX track, which is next to the Wild Rose Motocross, just off of Black foot trail. Okay, and they have all sorts of stuff happening. You can check out that website. Fun for the whole family to go to. Lots going on. All right, we'll be back on BT in just a bit. Stay with us. Thank you, guys. Nate, high fiber. <laughs> Duncan Fawcett for the win. We've got a race for two and three going on. Looks like it's going to be Brett Burkle.